Okay, folks, we are back with more Skyward Sword. To start, let's pop open this door. I've made no secret about how much I really, really hate these key turning puzzles. That's it? Holy smokes! Usually with this one, I'm not so good. But then again, I could just be having a lucky day. I can only hope that the mechanics for this in the HD remake are a lot better. But there's no time to mull over that because we've got something coming up. A lot of things coming up. Giant tentacles. Yeah. So, no surprise, this is the control room. But at the same time, things got really dark really fast. Oh boy. And there's a lot of shaking. More tentacles. A report master. Judging by their size, these tentacles belong to a monster of considerable size. You're not wrong there. Signs indicate that the ship is under attack. Really? 80%? And I don't think it'll capsize. I know it will sink. Okay, now you're using your head. So yeah, in the case of these tentacles, charge up your sword, blast it with a scoured strike, and they'll be cut down to size. The parts that flop around, not important. But watch your step. The further you go, the more dangers come out. You saw that barrel, right? And here's something that was really, really intricate. A nice touch, if you will. The further up you go, the more water comes rushing in. And if you thought that one barrel was bad, more will be coming. And the ship's on a slant, so yeah, we are sinking really, really quickly. Holy, that's a lot of barrels. Just gotta run and dodge. Run and dodge. Okay, there's another one. Another two! Charge up. Swing, but don't get too close because these things can grab you. Excellent. Holy smokes. A big gaping hole right where the front cabin used to be. Not a day to go for a pleasure cruise, that's for damn sure. Yes? I sense an evil presence on the other side of this door. There is a 90%... <sighs> Honestly, it is the monster. And yes, the tentacles do belong to it. I'm pretty sure I've got this under control. After all, I've got my potion and I've got that fairy. So whatever's out there... I'm going to chop it into calamari. But then again, I don't recommend eating it. I mean, who knows where that thing has been. Those things, I should say. Holy smokes. This ship has taken a beating. And we're not done yet. This looks bad. Really, really bad. I bet this thing is ugly as sin. Oh, I called it. Look at that disgusting monster. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Abyssal Leviathan, Tentalus. A memorable boss for all the wrong reasons. I'll go into a little detail once the fight progresses. But for now, I'm going to charge up my Skyward Strikes because, yeah, the tentacles are coming back. With this, you gotta swing your sword horizontally, because verticals will not affect it. And you gotta be fast too, because if you take too long, these things could grab you. Just like inside. Alright. He's gonna be coming out, so let's get our bow ready. Aha! Alright. Come on, ugly. Open your eye. Alright, that was good. And from a long distance too. Yeah! Round one goes to me. What's the matter? Had enough? Yeah. He has not had enough. But things are going to get a lot more dangerous. These things will come out faster. And they will actually grab you faster. So yeah. You got to be on your guard. All right. Keep charging. Keep swinging. And you should be fine. But at the same time, this guy is really annoying. Okay, there we go. There go the tentacles. 
Now let's pull out the bow. Wait for Tentalus to come back up. Oh, there you are. For a minute there, I was actually afraid you weren't going to show. Uh-oh. Ah! My aim sucks today! Okay, finally! What was all that? I was sh shooting, but I didn't hit. Well, so far, aside from those missed shots... Yeah, nothing's too troublesome. But right now, it's time for round three with the tentacles. And this is where it gets really, really nasty. Okay, got him. Oh, that was bad. Come on, charge up. Link, raise your sword, damn it! Ah, of course. Out of sync. But now I'm back in fighting form. Good. One more should do it. Oh, come on. Good. There we go. All right, ugly. Where are you? There you are. Ah, missed. Damn it, my aim sucks today. Oh, I actually got him that time. And now you go down. Nope, we're not done. The music is still going. He's angry. Really angry. But that big ugly bastard, he hasn't even begun to feel pain. More barrels. And we gotta head for higher ground. Okay. There is the symbol of Lanayru. And this is where our final showdown with Tentalus begins. You are ugly. Alright, quick stun, pull out your sword, and do some damage. But when he gets back up, get ready to start swinging your sword really, really fast. You know why? Because his tentacles are going to come to life. Oh, off yours! Oh, baby! Not, not literally! Stand still! Okay, there we go. And this is where you go into the deep fryer. There we go! Not gonna lie, that fight could have been done a lot better. Especially when it came to shooting my bow and arrows. That was bad. Really, really bad. Now about this fight. It just drags on so long. And the tentacle part, mighty annoying. I mean, yeah, I get the concept. It did seem interesting when I first played it, but as time went on, I don't know. I guess it kind of rubbed me the wrong way. And just the fact that he was just trying to swing his big tentacles and use that creepy Medusa snake hair to, to, to touch me, that is just wrong. I mean, this thing is not allowed to touch me. If anything, in this game, there are only two people that have that right. Zelda and that pretty girl I helped after she crashed her loft wing. What was her name? Aurel? Anyway, that's not important. The important thing is, the battle's won, there is the crest, and now, the flames of Nehru are mine. This time, it's a blue flame. In all honesty, this was quite interesting. The journey, that is. The fight? Nah. Not my favorite. In fact, a lot of people agree that this fight is the worst of the bunch in this game. But hey, if you like this battle, let me know and why you like it. Where does she go? Yeah. 
You know. I think that pigeon tried to kill me. Or maybe not. But now, it's time to play with a better sword. The flames of Nehru have made it even stronger. Spiffy! The flames of Nehru have transformed your blade, expanding Fi's powers. She can now help you use your dowsing ability to search for more objects. Awesome! Well, personally, I'm not gonna really make much use of the dowsing. At least not for random stuff, but hey. Every little bit counts. Man, you gotta love those victory poses. But look at that. Now we have the second Triforce Mark on our hand. With the sword enhanced, you can learn a new melody. I recommend we return to the Isle of Songs. Agreed. But for now, this is where we say goodbye. Thanks for watching. Until next time, this is JP saying as always, see you cool cats on the flip side.